of the privatization was the raising of the water rates in the city of Cochabamba. A drastic raising of the, of the rates. Cada familia en Cochabamba debía pagar por el servicio de agua una quinta parte de sus ingresos familiares. Each family in Cochabamba needed to pay out one fifth of its income for water alone. Es decir, una familia cuyos ingresos eran aproximadamente de 300 dólares, la, la, cada familia debía pagar 60 dólares por el servicio de agua. In other words, if a family uh, earned around $300, it would have to pay out the equivalent of $60 for water bills per month. La gente debía decidir entre comer o pagar por el servicio del agua. And people were forced to decide between eating or paying for water. In Bolivia, desde 1985, donde hubieron cambios muy drásticos en la economía del país, in Bolivia, beginning 1985, when very drastic changes began to occur in the country. Y por una eh, tradición eh, cultural, el agua se gestiona de manera comunitaria. <coughs> and, and due to a long-standing tradition, uh, water was dealt with along community traditions. It was uh, partitioned because of or through community traditions. Dos terceras partes del agua en Bolivia se distribuyen de manera comunitaria, es decir, son las comunidades las que captan el agua, las que distribuyen el agua de manera equitativa. <coughs> Two thirds of all water in Bolivia is distributed but also harvested in community uh, traditions. Communities become responsible for the water distribution. La privatización significaba la desaparición de estas formas comunitarias de gestión del agua. The privatization required the disappearance and the extinction of these communal collective ways of distributing water. Y gestionar el agua de manera comunitaria es gestionar la vida misma. When you deal with water you are dealing directly with life. No se puede gestionar la vida si es que no existe agua. One cannot manage life if water does not exist. Es decir, la privatización significaba la desaparición de formas de vida comunitarias. Privatization would have meant the disappearance of communal, collective ways of living. Y comunidad es absolutamente contrario a lo individual, al individualismo, lo comunitario. And uh, community is at variance, it's completely opposite of individualism. Una forma de vida comunitaria tiene que ver con valores muy profundos. A, a community and collective way of life has very deep values at its heart. Como el respeto. La solidaridad, la reciprocidad. Values such as respect, re, uh, reciprocity. La convivencia social y la convivencia equilibrada con, y armónica con la madre naturaleza. Uh, values such as harmony with mother nature. Y la gente no estaba dispuesta a que estas formas de vida, estas formas de relacionamiento con la madre tierra puedan desaparecer. And the people uh, were not in agreement that these deeply rooted ways of relating to the world and to Mother Earth and to each other uh, should disappear. Y una tercera consecuencia de la privatización del agua en Cochabamba era la creación de un mercado de aguas. A third uh, consequence of the privatization of water in Cochabamba would have been the creation of a marketplace for water. Es decir, que todas las fuentes de agua, vale decir lagos, lagunas, ríos, pozos, podían ser puestas a la venta para cualquier inversionista. In, in other words, every lake, every river, every well would or could be put onto the market 
uh, for sale to be bought. Es decir, de un día para otro, todas las comunidades que durante siglos se habían abastecido de una fuente de agua comunitaria, de un día para otro tenían que pedir o comprar el agua de un dueño privado. Overnight, the communities that had used water and water sources for since time immemorial would have had to ask permission for the use of water. Esta privatización se dio básicamente por una ley y un contrato con Mente. The um, privatization of water came about as a result of a particular law and also a particular contract that was formed with Bechtel. En esta ley, de manera muy, muy sutil, muy disimulada, se establecía que para poder acumular el agua de la lluvia había que pedir permiso al ministerio, al gobierno. Uh, the law stated in a very subtle and very cloaked manner that people had to ask for permission to harvest water. Es decir, que el agua de la lluvia también se privatizó. Rainfall was also privatized. La gente del campo y la ciudad no aceptó de ninguna manera esta forma criminal de privatización. Un, under <coughs> no circumstance did the people of Cochabamba accept the criminalization of this law that, that would limit the use of water. La gente se organizó y formó una coalición muy horizontal, muy democrática, muy participativa, que se llamó la Coordinadora de Defensa del Agua y de la Vida. <coughs> the, the people then gathered and they formed a coalition. Uh, it was a very horizontal coalition, it was very democratic, and it was called the Coordinadora. Uh, in the book, by uh, Oscar, it's also called uh, a coalition in defense of, of water and life. Y era una organización donde estaban todos los sectores sociales de la población, campesinos, eh, citadinos, trabajadores, estudiantes, jóvenes, desocupados, mujeres. <coughs> Within this coalition, uh, all sectors of the community were represented campesinos or farm workers, people from the city, workers, women, youth, and the unemployed. Y se organizó básicamente para rechazar esta privatización, pero ante todo para reponer en la mesa de la sociedad misma la significación y la importancia del agua para la vida. <coughs> the coalition was formed uh, to reject the privatization of water, but at the same time, it was also created to place at, in a center position of the table the old uh, traditions around water use and regulation. Para nosotros, el agua no es un recurso natural. For us, water is not defined as a natural resource. El agua no es un recurso mineral. It is not a mineral resource. El agua, como dice nuestro hermano, pueblo de Tezuque es un ser vivo. <coughs> Water, in the words of our brother from Tezuque, is a living being. Y la gente de manera intuitiva salió a las calles y a los caminos para defender el agua. And the people, in a most intuitive manner, uh, poured out into the streets to Por, defend water. Porque la privatización del agua no solamente nos quitaba un bien común de los seres humanos, de los animales, de las plantas, de las montañas, de la tierra misma. Because uh, the privatization of water would not only remove from us a common possession, a possession which the mountains enjoy, but also the plants and every living being, animals, people. Sino ante todo destruía estos valores y estas formas comunitarias de vida que habíamos desarrollado durante siglos. 
not only would it have done that, but it would have destroyed the values that we <coughs> have been practicing for centuries. El agua es la sangre de la tierra, de la madre tierra. Water is Mother Earth's blood. El agua es como la sangre de nuestro cuerpo. Water is akin to the blood running through our bodies. Si se enferma o es escasa nuestra sangre, nuestro cuerpo, nos podemos morir. <coughs> We're able to die if we have too little blood or if the blood in some way is not or is compromised. Por eso salimos de nuestras comunidades y de nuestras casas para defender el agua y para defender la vida. It is for these reasons that we went out of our homes and out into the streets to defend water, but also to defend life. Era una lucha por la vida contra la muerte. Ours was a struggle for life and against death. Era una lucha por un bien común contra la mercantilización del agua. It was a struggle to safeguard a common good and against mercantilism. It was a struggle against individualism and for collectivism. It was a struggle <coughs> on the part of humble, common people against the army, the banks, and the large corporations. Pero luego de cinco meses de una pelea muy dura, muy digna, pero ante todo una lucha muy alegre, logramos expulsar a Bechtel de Cochabamba y logramos cambiar la ley. <coughs> After five months of a very arduous, difficult, but ultimately very joyous combat, we were able to expel uh, Bechtel from our community, and moreover, we were successful in changing the law. Una lucha muy Esta lucha tuvo una significación humana muy profunda. This struggle had a profound human significance. Porque se demostró que un pueblo unido, que un pueblo organizado y un pueblo movilizado es capaz de derrotar enemigos muy poderosos. It demonstrated the fact that a well organized and, and a deeply committed populace could uproot a, a, a very powerful enemy. Pero vencimos primeramente a dos enemigos internos que tenemos nosotros adentro de nosotros mismos. But at the same time, we were successful in vanquishing two enemies that reside within our own beings. Uno de nuestros enemigos es el miedo. One of these enemies is fear. Y el otro enemigo es el conformismo, la designación, el individualismo de cada uno de nosotros. And the other enemy that lives within us is conformity, individualism, apathy. Y eso pudimos vencer mirándonos los unos a los otros como hermanos. <coughs> we were able to do this by looking in, into each other's eyes and seeing that there was a brother or a sister. Recuperando la confianza en nosotros mismos. We did this by means of recovering our own self-confidence. Recuperando la confianza en mi hermano y en mi amigo y mi compañero y mi vecino. We did this by recovering the confidence in my brother, my friend, my neighbor. Y eso fue lo que hicimos. That's exactly what happened. Devolverle al pueblo la capacidad de decidir. This struggle was able to return to the community something that it had lost, and it was its power of decision making. En el tema del agua, el año 2000 en Cochabamba, el pueblo tomó la decisión. En el año 2000, the people recovered their decision-making capacity in Cochabamba. Por eso muchos pueblos en el mundo, conociendo la historia de Cochabamba, 
se animaron a organizarse, se animaron a unirse y se animaron a luchar. And that is why many communities throughout the world, having become familiar with the situation and the victory in Cochabamba, decided to organize and uh, decided to become inspired by this struggle and to fight for their rights. Y no conozco hoy día un lugar donde no hemos ido a apoyar estos procesos organizativos donde la gente haya perdido. And I do not know of a single place where I have been to uh, to support these similar parallel struggles where people are organizing uh, toward the same ends. I do not know of a single place where people have lost the battle. Y esto es muy importante que sepamos. This is very important that we all know this. Es una casualidad que a los lugares donde yo visito para hablar, como ahora lo estoy haciendo con todos ustedes, uh, it is significant that uh, in every place where I go to to speak with people, such as here, right now, today, siempre llueve. It's significant that it always rains. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that this morning's rainfall in this really beautiful land is a blessing from the sky. Yes. It signals hope for our community. Y es que el agua va a limpiar nuestro cuerpo y nuestro espíritu. It, it means that the water is going to purify our land, our body, and our spirit. Mm -hmm. Y llenará poco a poco los cauces de nuestros ríos. And it will also be regenerating the sources of our river. Y los ríos nos darán fuerza para luchar. And the rivers will provide us strength. That is what the rainfall this morning means in this area. But at the same time, I would like to uh, tell you what is occurring from Mexico southward toward Argentina. 12 años de aquella victoria importante en Cochabamba. It's been 12 years since that uh, important victory uh, was obtained in Cochabamba. Las luchas por el agua, por el territorio, continúan hoy. The struggle for water and for land continues to this day. Y son los pueblos indígenas que quizás de manera solitaria hoy siguen luchando por conservar su agua y su territorio. And consistently, it is the indigenous communities, almost exclusively, that persist in their struggle for land and water. Bear in mind that there are progressive governments in places such as Bolivia, Ecuador, Perú, Argentina, and Uruguay. La lucha es más difícil para los movimientos indígenas y populares. In spite of their progressive governments, the struggle by Indian communities still remains very difficult. Hoy, los poderosos del mundo han decidido que la minería es la matriz económica a nivel global. <coughs> Today, the powerful elite of the world have decided that mining is the heart of profitable industry in the world. Y los gobiernos de nuestros países ya no son nuestros gobiernos. And it, that has resulted in the situation that the governments in our countries are no longer our governments. Y muchos gobiernos se han subordinado a esos grandes intereses que gobiernan el mundo hoy. Many of the governments have subordinated themselves to these immensely powerful industries uh, that run the world. 
Las empresas mineras, principalmente canadienses y estadounidenses, están ocupando territorios en los campos. The large industries or corporations of a mining nature from Canada and the United States particularly are occupying 